Aldi has decided to knock off every appliance brand in the world. Hello you guys and welcome back to another Vivian Tries. Number one, look at the toaster, the retro collection. They are trying to knock off, I don't even like to say it because I know it means something else, but you guys can see here what I think they're trying to knock off. Now this one is white, these are beige, and you'll be able to get the whole collection too for like, I don't know, $100 for everything? That's pretty good. Do you <laughs> <laughs> I'm ashamed to say this. This toaster costs, I think, over $200. So you can get the entire kitchen redone for $100. Comes in two colors, beige and like a baby blue, powder blue, whatever you want to call it. I did not pick up the entire collection. If you look at the side of this box, it actually tells you all the different items that they're selling as part of the collection. I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you how much these are. 200 plus $24.99. Let's see how cute it is. It does come with a three year warranty. It does have a bun roasting attachment, which what? This didn't bring nothing. I don't think Walmart has nice ass toasters like this for $24 and run to get these. These will not last. Remember, Isle of Shame right in the middle of the store try to go pick these up because if you're trying to get the entire collection like me you might miss out i'm not trying to create panic or fomo <laughs> i apologize because i know that when you guys see something cute you run to the store the thing with aldi is that everybody knows wednesday's the day to go up there and get all the new stuff so depending on when this video comes out i apologize it might be gone oh it's too cute i think it's almost as cute as this what i was saying was when you go to aldi you might not be able to find all the pieces get whatever you can there and then go to the next <laughs> <laughs> That's how crazy I am. Get your little warranty cards. Okay, it wasn't blue. It was like this green color. Are you ready for the big reveal? Close your eyes with me. Ready? One, two, three, go. <gasps> what? <gasps> wow. Look at the top of that. Gorgeous. All your little buttons, and then you have your little thing, and then you have your little, and on this side, you have your, for all your crumbs. So you have a defrost, you have a cancel, and you have a preheat button. Just like this. And look at the colors are pretty similar, huh? This one's a little bit more square, as you guys can see, a little bit more boxy. This one has the curved kind of look to it. I am not disappointed for $24.99. Your kitchen is gonna look designer on a budget. Here's this piece, yeah. You should be ashamed of yourself because y'all are just for the aesthetic, just for the pictures. Look at this. This is the basket that goes on top. Just like that, silly cat. You don't need instructions. Oh. And then you put a bagel or something on the top. What else can we put on here? Different things to warm up with the heat of this. I've never had a toaster with this, so I feel super extra. I am loving the top of this one. It's just so big and it has so much stainless steel, like chromey look. It just looks so pretty. So one Pop-Tart there on the outside, one Pop-Tart here. So I have both of them on number two. Now we push it down. Oh. <laughs> Here's the Aldi, here's the brand, exactly the same. This one wasn't any more powerful than our Aldi one. This one has a toaster, excellent quality. Okay, I mean, nobody's gonna come click on it, right, at your house. If they do that, send their ass home. Buy me this for Christmas, since you gotta be touching shit, nosy. <laughs> That's what you say. So, for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Aldi Retro Toaster five Vivian heads. Number two. Retro electric kettle. I've always wanted one of these. Not sure why, because I don't really drink tea, but when I start drinking, because I've been planning on starting, because my British friends, they drink tea all the time. And for a little while there, I did think about getting one to match my toaster, but I'm like, these people aren't gonna rip me off twice. So I waited and look what I get. I get a $25 one at Aldi, retro and beige. Green color, super cute too. If you find the green, go for that one. This one comes with a three-year warranty. Oh, how British am I now? Do you want tea? Here's the base. It will hold up to 1.7 liters of water. So you just keep that plugged in on the counter. <gasps> you're jealous. I know you're gonna be jealous after each of these products. <laughs> Look at the inside. Oh, and you just put it on here. Let that shit boil and boom tea time. You don't have to use your stove and heat all that up just to get some boiled water. Let's add water to the actual kennel. I have water in my pimp cup here. Should have just done this in the sink because, oh, Vivian. Okay, I have electricity up here. Let me just go over here because Vivian, you gotta just go fast like a band-aid. Ready, one, two, three, go. 
See, told you, it's not too bad. 1.7 liters in the pimp cup, just in case you're curious. Put your lid on. Hopefully it's faster than the stove. No special instructions needed for this guy. You just push down. No buyer's remorse, and I bought the whole damn kitchen. I can already hear it boiling super fast, and I bet if you have less water and you don't go all the way to the max like I did, it might go even faster. Can you hear it boiling? It's literally been 40 seconds. Can I move it? Is that recommended or no? Does it go? Does it whistle like the other one? I didn't read the instructions. When's it done? I think it's ready for me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just turn it off manually. You can hear it calming down. That was kind of loud. I wasn't expecting it to get that loud. I'm certified, I got my brick card. It's a simple appliance, but it's just so cute and I don't have to turn on the stove. Um, just a pro tip, do not touch this. It's hot as hell, you're gonna burn yourself. Let me just touch this, okay. It's actually not hot underneath, so I think I can just put it on the table. Underneath has a place for you to wrap your cord to keep your kitchen looking organized. You can wrap the cord from underneath. So I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number three. Electric milk frother. We're not going to Starbucks anymore. We're gonna start making coffee at home and this is a necessity. For the coffee, so you feel like it's Starbucks. You're tricking yourself. Trick the kids, trick your husband, trick everybody. Cause you can make beautiful lattes, beautiful cappuccinos. They just like level up your coffee game. I promise I used to not understand it until I got one. Now the trick to these is that you have to use whole milk. It can't be like almond. It needs a little bit of fat to foam up. It has four options for foam. Premium Premium non-stick coating on the inside, 360 base. It creates heated and cold foam. So if you're trying to make an iced coffee, put cold foam. If you pick up some of these pieces at Aldi, you need to let me know. Look at that. With the little lid, see on the inside, it has this little piece that you should be able to take off. It has a little magnet. That's just like my Nespresso one. Here's your little stand. It also has that feature where you can wrap your cord underneath. Very nicely made. There are your buttons in the front where you can tell it what kind of froth you want. This is super easy and listen, it is a splurt. It is not a necessity. But if you got a little bit extra, I'm telling you, you'll love this. If you're a coffee lover, the base is plugged in. Put this on it. Oh, and it's a good size too. I have not much. I got a little bit left. So we'll put that in there. Okay, lid on. I want it to be hot, really, really, really frothy. So that's the third one down. Click on, you click it three times to get there and it just starts. Put it into this glass so you guys can see. This was maybe one of my favorite finds. And it should just shut off on its own. Perfection. Let's pour it out so you guys can see how beautiful this froth is. Okay, ready? One, two, three, go. Look how beautiful this froth is. I could just drink that alone. You see how it kind of coats the inside of the frother, so you need to make sure to take out that little attachment that I showed you earlier, the magnet, and get that really clean because you don't want nasty creamer or milk left behind. I don't have to taste it because it just looks so good. <laughs> Get the creamer too, I got it at Costco. <laughs> I don't need coffee. I'm just gonna drink my shit like this from now on. Did I just discover a drink? Just the froth? Either way, I love the machine. Probably out of all the items, so far this is my favorite thing because it's gonna elevate your coffee game. So I'm gonna give the electric frother five, 10, five. Vivian heads. And in case you're wondering, this is hashtag not sponsored. Costco, go ahead and send me a check because I made y'all billions of dollars. Number four, electric blender. It's like a little handheld one, $24.99. Not only is it the same cream color as everything else, but it also brings stick blender, a whisk for whipped cream or for cakes, a chopper, a measuring cup, instructions, a warranty card. It comes with a three-year warranty, just like the other items. Cannot complain about the quality. Is this it? Wow! Very heavy, very well made. Quality, excellent. Here's your little whisk. See, you just put it in there and go zzz, zzz, zzz. That's what I came for. 
Oh, that's for the whisk. So you can attach it like that. Measuring cup. Can I just do it right there like that? Yes, you can. This was a great deal. Somebody priced this out for me on Amazon or on Walmart. This is powered by this. So we can make salsa and all kinds of stuff in here. These are your three attachments. This, this, and this. Let's attach the piece that I want, which is this one. Look at me, they're gonna think I'm a chef. So impressed, I can't say it enough. Please verify that it's locked in place. So let's do a few of the tomatoes in here. I hope this is for this. It's small and you have to add other ingredients. You don't just put tomatoes, put other things to make it soup. Can you make your own baby food with this thing? Probably. We'll do this cup first. I think you just put it in there. Complain about the quality. Just turn it off before you pull it all the way out. Let me show you how beautiful my puree is. Beautiful, excellent. Now we put this on. Let's lock this in place. And you're gonna get, what else do you guys use these for? I love it, give me all the ideas because I'm gonna start using this. This is gonna be used once a week, at least for the first week. And then after that, I'm gonna forget about it. <laughs> Salsita, right there. Love, quality wise, I cannot complain and I cannot ask for any more. Attachment wise, I cannot complain and ask for any more. So for those reasons, I'm gonna give this guy five Vivian heads. Number five. Electric citrus juicer. Do you have a juicer like this? It is easy to clean and assemble. It has two cones on it, maybe one for oranges. It has a removable pulp filter. It's pretty basic. Fresh squeezed orange juice, that would be the best, but you know how many oranges you need to make a cup of fresh squeezed orange juice? The whole five pound bag from Sam's. I know, have you ever seen those machines where they make fresh juice? It takes like 12, not even, probably 20. Am I exaggerating? Somebody that knows what they're talking about, let us know in the comments down below. Okay, there we go. Very simple, but still quality, great. So you get this little cover. You got two, I think this is for oranges, bigger citrus, and then this is probably your lemons and your limes. And you have your pulp filter there. It looks like it is super easy to clean. Oh, that comes off for cleaning. Plugged in, we are gonna install the mother, <laughs> it turns on by pushing this, Vivian. <laughs> Scared the hell out of me. <laughs> We're gonna put this here to catch our juice. I don't know how much juice a lemon's gonna get us. That might be too low. I might need to get something a little bit higher to catch it. Juice. Oh wait. <laughs> That's all the juice I get? That can't be right. Can I tilt it? There we go. And then it goes the opposite direction when you push it down again. It got all the juice out of there. Do that. It's okay. Now I wanna take it apart because I wanna see how gross this is. What it looks like from the top. Take this piece off to clean. You take this piece off to clean. As far as quality, I'm still very happy with the quality. I'm still very happy with the retro look it has. So for all of those reasons, I'm gonna give the Citrus Juicer five Vivian heads. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.